So now that the North American open beta has been available for a week on Xbox, I have a couple thoughts that I would like to share with you guys. In my last thoughts video where I spoke about the mission pass and how I think it was awesome. So I'm not going to go into that this time. I am going to go into some other things. So let's just jump into it. So during the week, we wound up seeing the introduction of the ultimate game pass, which gave us some really dope rewards. And then people promptly exploited it, making new accounts for a dollar, which they then took the codes from and then redeemed on their main account. So thanks exploiters. You ruined another good thing. So the the thing to keep in mind is now the distribution for has currently suspended. You can claim those rewards in game, but you're going to have to wait until March 31st when the service resumes. Thing is, is that this is the first bonus out of many. And honestly, this is really cool. This is something that they are looking to do every single month. So with every good thing that gets exploited, there comes a price. So now the rewards are a little bit different with the Xbox jacket for male and females, the Xbox for XB and O and X, emotes that are available in game, the Xbox wireless controller, the 12 AC scratch, but now now it includes a 500 AC ticket, 100 star gems, personal quarter use for 30 days instead of the premium that they were giving us before, the mission pass gold ticket, character storage times 50, 100 grinders, 10 X cubes, and 10 photon spheres. So while I'm assuming that they're taking measures to prevent things like this in the future, and it did kind of nerf the rewards a little bit, kind of seems like they really care about the experience for newer players and players who are looking to continue playing the game. Being the fact that in this they say to ensure a healthy in-game economy and that the game remains enjoyable for all players for years to come we're affecting some changes to rewards and offered in this program moving forward i think personally that this is a step in the right direction and i appreciate their transparency so yeah, it sucks that the rewards wound up getting nerfed and I appreciate their transparency a hell of a lot when it comes to a situation like this, but it still sucks that I get less icing on my cake. I really like my icing. So now I'm sure they're just testing in the waters to make sure that all of their functionality works properly. The cool thing is that they're gonna be giving us half scape dolls whenever we log in every day, which basically gives you a free revive during a mission. And that's really it on the North American front of the game. There's been a lot of cool things happening and a lot of people are just going out and leveling. They began concerts in the game. They just had their first maintenance there's a lot of cool things to show that they really care about the north american launch and i'm excited but before we're done let me show you guys something i thought was absolutely exciting when it comes to the japanese version of the game the japanese version of the game and launched divide quests however that's not all we also got information on a new gun slash focused successor class here's the footage Now, I'll leave a link down in the description below, especially since they wound up releasing new bow PAs as well as a new summoner pet. And you might want to take a look. So before I forget, the Fresh Fine Shop is also down on the North American open beta up until March 31st. The reason being is because items were being tradable, even though they weren't intended to be. So while I decide to go lose my life on Rappy Slots again, thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment. And also, what were your, some of your thoughts about the open beta right now? I know that things are a little bit odd, especially with the fact that we've received no PC news at the time of making this video, but I'm sure that we'll be getting it soon enough. And I know that once we do, you guys are going to enjoy the game. There are a lot of kinks right now. And there are a lot of things that the game needs to work on, and I'm kind of glad that it didn't launch on PC first. Otherwise, I'm sure that there'd be a lot more PC players who are kind of frustrated at the fact that certain things are breaking and it's affecting their game especially with things like the fresh find system right now but with that i think i'm done for today thank you guys again for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video stay awesome stay beautiful see you in the next one bye